And the dispute will be solved forever. Does light level affect mushroom growth? Hello all, Cake here. I'm actually testing something. And when I say testing something, I mean I'm really testing something. See there's no rain. This is because at the very top of the map, the it is covered with glass. This is actually a test map. I'll post a link to download if I can figure out where to upload it when I'm done. And I've used MC Edit to make and clone bank after bank after bank, stretching the entirety of uh, the 9x9 nine nine chunk that loads around a player, filled with mushroom farms from the bottom of the map to the very top of the map. The reason I've done this is to end the debate once and for all beyond determining if they spawn or not does light level affect mushroom growth. This is my fifteenth test each a half hour long and you may be noticing the amount of mushrooms as I run through and do this I am going to cut though to an explanation of how this works and afterwards I'll show you my results here we are with a nice view of the farm I'm actually using that slow pan video cam mode which I'm not sure if I like it seems to make things a little more laggy but you can see the redstone wiring get a rough idea for how it's laid out it's exactly identical in each all of these are identical to help eliminate any variables at all I'm gonna run down and give you guys a look at how all this is set up now each of these modules has lightstone on the top with the exception of the zero light level module and they are arrayed one level down each so in each the light level is exactly one level higher for the mu mushrooms as it progresses because the lightstone becomes one closer I'll actually show you how this works in inside in one of the ones at the end because they're a lot brighter each of these has redstone wiring leading up and these repeaters lead into the wall which activates the pistons there that control this water this will close or open the piston doorway which will prevent any outside light source from interfering the way I did this with the repeaters leading through the walls and this so this eliminates any chance that an external light source, even one as minor as redstone, will have any effect on the results. You can see too, I've labeled the light levels. And I've got chest in the bottom of all these. These actually stretch all the way to the top of the map. And from the back of this one to the back of that one is nine chunks long. Um, Width-wise, it's only about six chunks long because there was no way for me to double this layout without going over the the limit of the chunks thrown players where the mushrooms would actually load and grow still. Going into this one though, I'll show you the inside. One of the big problems with mushroom tests is that once the mushroom grows, that mushroom can grow as well. So the first batch in whatever level of light to grow gets a really big advantage because they'll both start just spawning at the same time, their timers will reset, and if one was to say go off immediately, that would double the growth rate of that group. 
It won't happen every time, but it's enough to really skew the results. Here there's one mushroom under glass. The only square it can grow to is this wool one. Mushrooms won't grow on transparent surfaces. Pistons actually count as transparent surfaces. An easy way to test this if you want to, and I'm going to feel comfortable messing this up because I'm done testing, is if the mushroom won't plant, it won't grow. I just place this to stop the water. It'll plant on those. It'll plant on that. Will not pile it on ice. Oh, I hate wasting glass, even though this is much less legit than I normally go. There's no way to perform this test properly without doing things this way. It provides perfectly even, exactly copied, with no chance of human mistake layout. It allows for ice to be placed wherever, which as you can see really speeds up item flow and allows it to just keep going without flattening out. And it allows for a much larger structure than anyone could reasonably build within Minecraft. You can see there's no flow problems when it's like this. They all travel all the way to the end. Because they're all identical. That is eliminated as a variable. The only one that's even slightly different is this. The only difference is there's half slabs which mushrooms also can't grow on above the ice so that the mushrooms can keep sliding straight and the ice won't melt. This is just very slightly too bright for ice. The way I did this is I did 12 tests half an hour long each. To avoid picking up mushrooms accidentally I have train tracks running above that I I use to move. I did 6 heading that way, 6 heading this way to eliminate distance or despawning being a variable and because they're delivered this way I can do a much bigger group of mushrooms than could be done non-automatically. If you want to see how this works when it's closed, like I said the lights completely blocked because this is here and the water is stopped which stops delivery and allows the mushrooms to grow there. This is kind of uh, a lot more technical than I usually do. I'm mostly into building cool stuff, but this is a pretty cool build. I like this. And the only variable left is time. If I was to leave these all alone for days, it would serve as an equalizing variable, because once a mushroom grew in them, it would stop and eventually grow in all of them. So what I did is 12 half hour long tests. I wasn't sitting here the whole time, I was doing other things. But I set a timer. When it was done, I activated it, the mushrooms popped out. For this big a thing, there was not a huge, huge amount of mushrooms. Because of the way it's set up, because they can only spawn one place, because nothing can spawn again after that. But I like to think I did pretty well on this. I'm gonna count these up and I'm gonna tell you the results and the dispute will be solved forever. Does light level affect mushroom growth? Well here we go, the results are in and we can finally see how many mushrooms we got per level. I also did check the number of each type and there's really no statistical correlation with colors. It seems strictly based on light level. Now just running past these signs, we can get a vague idea of the number per level, but I'm actually going to pull up a chart. As you can see here, there is 
even in this highly controlled experiment, uh, quite a bit of var variation. However, if you break it down to average per light level and then look at what is above and below that, there are some that are significantly above average. And there are some that are just <coughs> not not so much. What I ended up finding out is at light level 0 to 5, the mu mushroom growth averaged about 10 hi higher, even in this relatively small amount of tests. 6 to 12 by comparison was much, much lower. Now, even if you already believe that uh, light level did affect mushroom growth, which I'd done some small scale tests and I was pretty damn sure myself, this is useful because while you certainly can't place torches near mushrooms without affecting the growth rate, if they are in a side room with say a door or something similar you don't have to worry about blocking out light completely at light level zero to f they'll grow exactly the same speed as they would at light level five and this really does make things a little bit easier at least now if you're going anywhere over light level five it it doesn't matter you can place your torches too away from where you have them, it won't affect growth rate. Significantly just having the room very bright over having it at level say 7 or 8 which would actually still spawn mobs so light that sucker up. Honestly the difference is small enough that you could probably just increase your mushroom farm size or your number of seed mushrooms just a little bit and you'd still have as much output. Also if you were to, and I'll cut back off the chart for this, I'm gonna run in here. <laughs> if you were to be really concerned about it, what you could do is something along the lines of this. Nope. I'm gonna have to do this quick. No! Dang you, you're ruining my demonstration! Okay, think I'll do this too. If you were to want the mushrooms to grow as fast, I know from my previous testing that it measures the light level of the seed mushroom, not the light level of the square it's going to, except for the purposes of determining if it can grow there or not. So I could place some glowstone right there and the mushroom would still grow just as quickly as if there is no glowstone there at all because I've blocked off all light to the seed mushroom I hope this does solve the debate if anyone sees any flaws in my test wants to do a larger scale thing which um, half hour long tests that many I wanted to be able to play Minecraft a couple times during that instead of just letting it sit there not so horrible fun <laughs> I will see if I can get this map posted online so you guys can check it out and do your own test if you want that might take a couple days though at least so check check back in the description if you don't see it now I hope you enjoyed this and it wasn't horribly boring. I'm going to end this the only way I know how. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> cruel world. World hole. This map editor thing's amusing. You'll see some more from that, but I'm keeping my main world legit, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright, this is Cake. Bye, all.